Golden Retrievers do some weird things, but there's usually a good reason for why they do them, like bussing in on you in the restroom. Golden Retrievers are social animals that love to be around their humans 24-7. But when it comes to the bathroom, there's an extra incentive for them to be there with you. New smells. Particularly, smells that smell extra you. As you've probably noticed, dogs and humans don't have the same requirements for what smells good, and your Golden will love to bask in all of your glorious smells. But it's not only you they like to smell. Another weird behavior you'll probably find your Golden Retriever doing is smelling other dogs' butts. When dogs meet, often the first thing they do is go for the other dog's butt. It's totally normal and is one of the main ways that they communicate. They're getting information about the other dog's gender, their health, and even if they're looking for love. They also get some of the same signals from smelling other dog's poop, which is another weird thing that you'll see your Golden Retriever doing often. It's pretty gross to us humans, but to dogs, it's totally natural. One of the weirdest things Goldens do is sleep with their eyes open. We don't really know why they do that, but there are several theories. One is that scientists think that they're not fully asleep and just dozing off a bit. And then there's a theory that they're actually sleeping with their eyes open to be alert for predators. And next up is an adorably strange behavior. Golden Retrievers love to roll on their backs and play with their toys. It's cute, and it seems like they're having the time of their life. And that's because they are. Rolling on their backs is one of the ways they express their happiness. They might also roll on their backs for other reasons. They do this to show submissiveness or trust, or they might have an itch that they need to scratch. But here's the weirdest reason Golden Retrievers roll on their backs. Dogs are very particular about the way that they smell. They may be rolling on something to get a smell off of them, like if you just gave them a bath, and they don't want to smell like the shampoo. Or they might want to get another smell onto them. They might roll around and poop so that they smell like poop and not what other predators might perceive as their prey. And while we're on the subject, another one of the weirdest things Goldens do, especially as puppies, is eat poop. But I've got some good news for you if you have a poop eater. You're not alone. One study found that 16% of dogs are frequent poop eaters, and it's so common that it has a name. Coprophagia. Okay, enough of the gross stuff. This next weird thing Goldens like to do is pretty adorable. Some Golden Retrievers like to get between you and your partner when you hug. This can be because they think that you're playing, they want to get in on the cuddles, or they may even be trying to protect one of you. I know, Goldens aren't exactly the scariest protectors, but they do love their families a lot. And this is evident by this next weird behavior. Golden Retrievers will sometimes look you in the eyes when they poop. When dogs poop, they're pretty defenseless, so they'll look to their protector, you, for reassurance that they're safe and everything is okay. A little weird, but super sweet. And here's another strange way they show their affection for you. Golden Retrievers love to lick your feet. They do this for a variety of reasons. First, licking is one way dogs show affection to each other. So this might be their way of telling you, I love you. But your feet might be sweaty, and therefore salty, which dogs love. And they might be smelly and full of pheromones, which Goldens also love. For some reason, my Golden likes to lick my feet a lot more than my wife's, but I'm just going to chalk that up to him showing me more affection and not because my feet are stinkier. But it's not just your feet that Golden Retrievers like to lick. Another strange behavior you may find your Golden Retriever doing is licking their paws. This isn't as cute as licking your feet because it could mean that they have a problem. An occasional lick or two is fine as part of their self-grooming routine, but if they're constantly licking one paw, it could mean that they have an injury. If your pup suddenly starts to lick one paw nonstop, check their paw in between their toes for an injury, like a cut, broken nail, or a growth, or for something stuck in there, like a rock or a thorn. If they're licking all of their paws and not just one, it could be allergies, a bacterial problem, or parasites, like fleas. Definitely check with your vet if you notice that your dog is licking their paws more often. But licking their paws is actually quite normal compared to this next weird thing you may find your golden doing. Golden Retrievers sometimes lick their personal parts, and they have no shame when they do it, right in front of your face, when you've got company over, or when you're trying to sleep and they feel the need to give themselves a good, loud licking. But there are a few reasons why your dog may lick themselves down there. The first is because it's a normal part of them cleaning themselves. Although your Golden would probably love to get down and dirty in a puddle of mud, they do like to keep themselves clean through regular grooming. Plus, they don't have toilet paper like we do, so it's their only option to clean up down there. But like their paws, if your dog is obsessively licking their crotch, it could be a sign of a problem. They could have allergies, a UTI, a yeast infection, or another problem that we'll talk about in a second. 
Here are some warning signs from the AKC for when you might want to go to the vet. If your dog has swelling or redness down there, if there's a foul odor, if there's discharge, if they're going pee more frequently than normal, or if there's discoloration or a rash. Licking their butt might also be a sign of a problem with your dog's anal sacs, which brings us to the next weird thing you may find your golden doing. Golden retrievers may sometimes scoot their butt on the floor. This could be a sign that their anal sacs are full and need to be expressed, or that they have allergies or parasites. I always heard that it was only small dogs that had anal sac problems, until one day we found our golden retriever going to town on his butt. As it turned out, the vet said his anal sacs were full and needed to be expressed, so definitely talk to your vet if you find your dog scooting their butt on the floor. This next weird thing goldens sometimes do might have you thinking that you brought a cow into your home and not a dog. Golden retrievers sometimes eat grass. Many people think dogs do this because they have a tummy ache, and eating grass helps them vomit and relieve it. But according to an article on the VCA hospital's website, that may not actually be true. Studies show that less than 25% of dogs vomit after eating grass, so it's unlikely that they eat it as a form of medication. And only 10% of dogs show signs of illness prior to eating grass, which further supports this theory. Your golden may be eating grass because they're anxious or bored, it's fun to tear up grass, they like the taste or the texture of it, or it's just part of their instincts. Another study found that 11 to 47% of wolves eat grass, so it's normal for canines to do this, even though we typically don't think of them as grazers. Next up is another weird but super cute behavior, the golden grumble. Golden retrievers sometimes sigh, groan, or grumble when they lay down to rest. They sound like they just put in an 80 hour work week, but really, they played a little fetch and chewed on their toys. They might even make what sounds like a little purr when you pet them and they're extra sleepy. When they do this and they're sleepy, it's usually a sign of contentment or pleasure. But don't get this confused with the sigh that they give you when you don't play with them. That's just your golden giving you some teenager-like attitude and venting their frustration that you didn't play with them. Next up is another weird but sweet and sleepy behavior. Golden retrievers sometimes like to sleep on your smelly shoes. You've got a nice bed for them, or they're allowed on your comfy couch, but every so often, you turn around and your golden is sleeping on your stinky shoes. Not only do they smell, but there's no way that can be comfortable, right? Well, it might not be comfortable, but it's comforting. Just like following you to the bathroom or licking your feet, your golden retriever loves the smell of you, and near your stinky shoes, there's a lot of that. And speaking of sleeping, here's another strange behavior goldens do in their sleep. Golden retrievers often dream in their sleep. You might hear them yelping or growling or see them twitch or kick. If your golden is having a bad dream and you feel like you want to wake them up, do so by calling their name or making a noise nearby. It's better to do this than touch them because you could startle them and they may accidentally bite you. I mean, if you were having a nightmare, would you want somebody to grab and shake you? Probably not. And here's another thing about dreams. Some people confuse them with seizures. According to the AKC, seizures tend to be more rigid, stiff, and include more violent movements. If your dog is having a seizure, they can't be easily woken up like if they were dreaming. I'm sure I don't need to say this, but if you think that your dog is having a seizure, definitely call your vet. Next up is another sweet behavior that goes back to what Goldens were originally bred to do. Golden Retrievers like to bring their owners gifts. Goldens were originally bred to retrieve birds for hunters, so when they bring you one of their toys or a random object in the house, they're getting back to their roots. Sometimes they're bringing you a toy to get you to play with them, and other times they're just showing their toy off because they're proud of it. I found that my dog sometimes doesn't want to play with me, but just wants me to sit next to him on the floor while he plays with his toys. I love that just my presence is enough for him. Next up is one of the weirdest behaviors in this video, and then two behaviors that might concern puppy owners. The first one is that golden retrievers walk in circles before they poop. Now this isn't exactly the weirdest behavior on this list, but it does have the weirdest reason. Your golden probably circles before he goes number two, because a new study found that dogs like to poop along a north-south axis. This means that they like to go facing either north or south, and not east or west. This study looked at dogs who were not on a leash or constrained by other things like walls or fences. In total, they looked at 1,893 number twos and 5,582 number ones from 70 different dogs over a period of two years. So the next time your dog goes potty, see what direction they're facing and if this is true for your pup. Next up, we've got a frustrating behavior that clean and orderly humans just won't understand. 
golden retrievers like to destroy things. It seems like golden retriever puppies especially just like to cause chaos, right? They like to chew, dig, or tear things up, but it's a totally normal dog behavior and they're not trying to make you mad. Dogs have a natural desire to chew, and it can be even more intense when they're teething and their adult teeth are coming in. The problem happens when your dog doesn't know what they're allowed and not allowed to chew. If you're having trouble with the teething puppy, we made a video about how to survive this tough phase, and I'll link to it in the description below. This next weird behavior might be confusing to some golden retriever owners. Golden retrievers like to shake their toys. And here's why this is confusing. This behavior is probably instinctual from when they would capture their prey and shake it really hard to kill it before eating. The first time I saw my golden retriever puppy do this, I was scared and I thought that my puppy was aggressive. But as it turns out, it's totally normal for how golden retrievers play with their toys. And speaking of puppies, see what my biggest regret in raising my first golden retriever puppy was in this next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.